In less than one week, we're going to be heading out on our first full vacation in over a year since before the pandemic. So we are quite excited, really looking forward to having a, a longer trip because we've been doing little weekend trips, which have been great to get out of the house. But what we find is that you don't get that same experience of really, really decompressing until you are away from the demands of daily life for quite a few days. So you get a great relaxation experience on a weekend out, but a longer trip definitely, definitely is needed at this point. So this week is all about getting the scamp ready, getting the scamp organized, packing, getting our food ready, so that when we actually get to go on this trip that we are so looking forward to, that it's actually smooth and stress-free. Show you a couple of the new organization things that I'm working on. So this is the stuff that we just got. This is the new liner for the Omnia oven because I want to try to do more cooking on the Omnia. I got two new organizers, which I'm quite excited about. I got a whole bunch more of these Velcro nets. Now that I am thinking about it, there are like a million and one uses for that. So these are going to be shoe holders and all sorts of stuff. And then I am now a big fan of packing cubes. So I got another set of packing cubes, but a little bit larger. So we'll see just for bulkier items, I wanted some larger cubes. I have the hot glue gun warming up because I'm going to do a little bit of gluing some of the Velcro so that it will stick to the sides of the, um, the scamper right next to the dinette to give us that extra storage room to really, I think of it as like closet area. Like this is Patrick's closet area. And then the other side of the dinette is like my closet area to hang things up and that has worked really well on the past couple of trips. So we're just going to get it a little bit more organized than it already is. These larger Velcro attachments are in a loop so that you can put it around the side of a bed frame or something like that. So I just cut them off and flipped the Velcro around so that the rough side is facing the scamp fur. And then of course my fix for everything hot glue. I reattached the Velcro with hot glue and then it was ready to stick onto the scamper. Okay, on to the mesh and Velcro. Those organizers were quite a bit bigger than I was expecting. I should have, I should have read the listing better, but they actually ended up fitting perfectly in here. So there's the one there's the other one. So now I am moving my attention to the space underneath the table here. And this is where I want our shoe storage to be. So I'm going to see if I can put some of these nets in here. And that's gonna be our shoe holders because that's one of the things we usually just put it underneath this lip. And then when you move the scamp, they like fly all over the place. So trying to keep the scamp a little bit more organized when we move. I got a total of eight of these little mesh Velcro cargo net things. So there's one, there's two. I put four of them on the wall under the table here. I put one over there on Patrick's side and number eight is in the storage closet. I'm not sure what that's gonna hold yet, but it'll be nice to use that to organize this a little bit better because it's so open and we just like obviously jumble everything in at the bottom. But uh, yeah, I really like these organizers. Very helpful for just having things where it's easy to reach and uh, stuff that you're gonna use every day, but it's not taking up the very valuable small amount of counter space. I really try to keep the table open because when there's stuff all over the table, if I'm trying to cook or get anything out, it just, everything gets in the way. And then 
it makes the whole process of camping like this never ending, where is this, where is that, where did I move that to? And that gets annoying after a while, especially on a longer trip. You just want things to be where they're supposed to be and not move around a whole lot. So it's one of the ways that we make camping more enjoyable. I worked on getting my clothes packed. I think these are all the, all the main clothes that I'm gonna use. I love the packing cubes. So number one is like socks, underwear, under shirts, short sleeve shirts, long sleeve shirts, pants, a skirt, and then that bag has all my swimsuits in it. So you're looking at all the clothes except for these two big bags. Now at first I was like, I think these are too big. Maybe I should have gotten the smaller ones, but I'm actually glad I did because this is going to be like my extra cold weather stuff. And being that it's still been, it's been really chilly this spring. And when you're going into the mountains, you just, you need layers because it's probably going to be chilly at night. So I have my, my favorite like 20 year old fleece in here. That thing I can never get rid of because they don't use the same fabric anymore. The new ones look nice, but they're not as warm as this one. So that's my forever fleece. And then I have like a scarf and I'm going to put my hat and if I can find my gloves, I don't know where I put my gloves, but that's all gonna go in this bigger bag and that's gonna go under the bed. And then this other one, I put all my shower stuff in. I put my shower flip-flops. This is my bag of like soap and showery things. And then I'll put whatever clothes I'm going to change into if I go use the shower in the campground. It has a little handle on the side there and everything will just be in that one bag. And then I decided to move one of the mesh containers up here into the shower. So these are our camping towels from REI. And was it the last trip? Not the last trip, the trip before, when we went to Lancaster, we forgot our towels. And we ended up using the dog towel, which had just been washed. So not a big deal, but <laughs> Thank goodness we had thrown Redford's towels in the back of the Jeep and we were like, well, we just washed them. So at least they're not full of dog. But I'd want to make sure that we don't forget them again next time. So that way I'll be able to like really visually see, okay, we have our towels. So then when I go to take a shower, I'll throw my towel and my clothes into this bag and it'll be ready to go. So that'll make showering outside the scamp a little bit easier. Couple other things that I'm gonna throw into my cold weather bag. I have a hat because I didn't bring mine last time and I stole Patrick's hat because I was like, it's warm enough, but extra fuzzy socks because if it's chilly at night, that's always nice to have. And my knee brace, I luckily have not needed this in several years, but I figure I don't wanna end up in a situation where I wish I had it. So it'll stay in the scamp if I ever needed it again. And then this is my buff. What I did over the winter was get this very lightweight. So this is actually like a summer weight buff, very breathable material, but then I wanted it to be windproof. So I bought this special windproof fleece online and I sewed a liner to the inside of it. But I wanted to be able to take them apart because if I want to use it during hot weather versus if I want to use it during cold weather, I kind of like that versatility. So I put these tiny little snaps in here and there's just four of them right around the top. So when I want the windproof liner in there, it holds them together. But hopefully on this trip, it will be warm. So I just take out the windproof liner. I'm going to throw that into the bag with my cold stuff just in case I need it. And now I have this really nice lightweight mesh gaiter that I can wear and it'll block me from the sun and bugs and things like that without making me sweat too much. So I'm gonna keep this in one of my little side pouches to grab if we're going out and going hiking. The larger packing cubes are a little too big for the overhead bins. So I put these in the storage space right underneath the bed. It's nice because I can still access them really easily. And then I put away the smaller packing cubes that have my clothes in the overhead bin. And the four of them fit perfectly in here with some room to spare on the top. And then I'm gonna tuck my swimsuits 
into the back there. Hopefully, hopefully the swimsuits get to see some use on this trip. We'll see. Okay, all my clothes, no giant bag taking up space like we had before. So I am pretty excited about how organized everything is in here. One of the issues that I've started to notice with these little side organizers here is that they don't sit completely flush on the bottom right in here. So as I'm starting to put things in them, they're kind of pulling away from the wall. So I found the extra pool noodle that we used to fill in the gap here behind the table so that the table doesn't wiggle around when we're trying to eat. And what I'm going to do is just cut the pool noodle in half, stick one side on the left, one side on the right to fill in that gap underneath and see if hopefully that holds them in place better so that it won't pull on the scamp fur as uh, we start to actually put stuff in there for storage. I knew I was saving this extra piece of pool noodle for something that would be useful and it actually ended up being perfect to fill in this space. Okay, there you can see I just fit the noodle right underneath it so it has a little bit of height and that holds it in place. The cushions that I velcroed last time, they stayed in place, which was really nice. I didn't walk into the scamp after we moved it and have the cushions all thrown over the place. So all the little things are starting to add up and kind of come together. Okay, let me throw the other half on Patrick's side and then we'll get the Omnia oven ready. Here are the pieces for our Omnia. This is a stovetop oven, which sounds kind of weird, but you can bake things on a gas burner or a propane burner, which is what we use. When I bought the Omnia, so it comes with the piece that actually goes on the burner, that center ring, and then you buy inserts for it. And the first one I bought was the muffin insert because we were going away for Patrick's birthday and I wanted to be able to make little cupcakes and that worked great. They were so good, but I want to expand past baked goods on this trip. Actually, one of our goals that we were just talking about for this trip is to try to eat better while camping because we are, we're not perfect by any means in terms of our diet, but we try to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and healthier things, less processed, less packaged. And when you're camping, that's hard. Definitely easier with a fridge when you have an RV. So I ended up getting this other insert so that I can make roasted vegetables, hopefully potatoes, things like that, that I'm going to experiment with a little bit more on this trip. But I felt like I needed a different insert so that I could fit more and when you do the muffins, it's great. It's just, it's such a treat to have a fresh baked thing when you are camping, so I love these. But to move beyond baked things, and, and this really makes a very small quantity. For just us, it was plenty, but if you had like a group of people, it wouldn't be a ton. So this silicone liner offers a lot more room and you can make all sorts of stuff. Like um, I've seen people do lasagnas and nachos and all sorts of things. But again, trying to trying to experiment with things that are a little bit more toward the healthy end, at least I guess camping standards for what's healthy and what's not is a little bit skewed, which makes it easier. And before I put the Omnia away, I just wanted to talk about some of the pros and cons with the Omnia. So we also have a cast iron Dutch oven that I love to cook over the fire with. The difference is that the Omnia is pretty light, especially compared to something cast iron. This is very light. I love the cast iron because you can cook a really large quantity of food at one time, but when it's just the two of us, that's kind of a little bit of a waste. You know, we can, we can save it in the fridge for tomorrow, but it's sort of nice having something so light that we can be able to make a lot of those same things that you would only be able to do in a Dutch oven with something that is going to save you space and weight in the RV if that's something that you are concerned about. 
It is also much easier to store the Omnia because it's so light and thin. I just kind of tuck it in the side right underneath the sink. The nice thing is overall, we really don't have a lot else to do since we've been working on all these little projects kind of weekend by weekend, getting stuff done. I already got all my clothes packed. Pat just has to do his clothes. But the only other thing left to do is food shop and get all that stuff into the scamp and then we'll be ready to go. Well, you worried about you and me, the injustice, the next president to be. The news and watch here your career. It's time for you to face those fears and it's all fair. To be aware and I'll be there, so don't be scared. Just take a deep breath of air. And one, two, three to ten, you begin to focus again. And though time flies, we have enough to realize this bigger than the both of us. So darling, don't you 